Uh, oddly enough, my, my brother, everybody, all, my older siblings were, were uh, steered towards playing musical instruments. Neither of my, my folks played. Mm -hmm. But when it came to me, I guess they had pretty much given up. So, <laughs> you know, and then, of course, I wanted, you know, they, 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 were, they were steered toward, you know, the classical instruments, uh, flute, mm -hmm. trombone, trumpet. And then I came along and I wanted, you know, electric guitar and drums. And that was just like, it ain't happening, you know. So, so like I said, I would go up to my old, oldest brother's room when he wasn't there and listen to his records. Well, he was the flute player, so he had his flute around. And in, in, uh, in the James Brown tune I was telling you about, um, Maceo Parker, who's a great sax player, but he also doubled on flute, had, had a flute solo. So I, the flute was there, so I just picked it up and I started working it. And by God, I was playing along with it, you know? I mean, it wasn't, you know, super sophisticated, but I, and of course I wasn't playing it like Maceo played it, but I could, I was playing it and I was just like, how is this happening, you know? And so it was, that, that was sort of a, a milestone, you know, for me where I realized that maybe I could do this, maybe I could make an instrument work. I was I was drawn to the bass, but I wasn't an actual bass player right. at that at that mm -hmm. stage. When and, did you make the decision? When did you? Did well, that's you know like um, sort of when uh, I discovered punk rock, you know, okay. and that was whole it scene. Or? No, this was this was mm, probably eighty. Okay. You know, and um, and I had you know these two friends, these two guys I used to hang around with, and they were both guitar players and. It, you know, they started messing around and said, Theo, you know, you want to you want to play with us? I said, sure. So they gave me a bass <laughs> and and my friend Wayne McLeod, you know, sort of, you know, it was it was totally just you put your fingers here and you play this, you know, and uh, and I did it and I was getting it, you know, so it was like, this is cool, <laughs> you know. Generally, I learned by listening to just a lot of records. Okay, so um, some of the records? Uh, like a lot of blues, uh, Freddie King records, sure. um, the Fabulous Thunderbirds. Yeah. I love the Fabulous Thunderbirds, so I played to a lot of that stuff. Um, Good foundation. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, Hal and Wolf, where that was, a lot of that was upright, but I was just sort of getting that. Right. And then there was this whole other, you know, sort of genre. It was, they call it roots music, but it was American music. Yeah. like. Mm -hmm. Uh, for instance, like Evan Johns and the H Bombs, mm -hmm. uh, the Leroy Brothers, uh, later the Tailgaters, uh, Omar and the Howlers, the Beat Farmers from the West right, Coast. Yeah, yeah. You know, so th those those groups were, you know, sort of I copped a lot of stuff mm -hmm. from uh, listening listening to to that stuff. Mm -hmm. And while I was in Philadelphia. I was, I was listening to the radio, and there was a jazz station at a Temple University. Yeah. And um, there was this guy, Joe Pyle, he was a DJ, and he had this show. Um, and, it, and he played like, uh, you know, what, what was what's called bop and hard bop. Right. So it's a form of jazz. Yeah. And those guys really drew me in, like Art Blakey, Hank Mobley, Lee Morgan, those yeah. kind of things. And that's what got me to the upright, you know, because I started hearing, and I started hearing the upright in, in music. You know, of course, I had heard it before in country right, music right. and so forth, but that's sort of what really drew me in as far as the upright goes. And then once the rock band, is, there was a band called Boss Fuel mm -hmm. that I was playing with in, in, uh, in Rhode Island. Once that band broke up, then I just, you know, decided, well, I'm going to get, you know, an upright and start learning.